Well, I'm preparing to go to Sci-Fi Valley Con in Altoona this weekend. And one of my fellow retro gaming Ghostbusters asked me if I would bring my soldering iron with me so could uh, fix something on his proton pack. Only one problem. Um, this is a commuter con. None of us are getting a hotel room, so uh, where would I plug it in, right? So I decided to get this. It is a mag torch detail torch. It is a butane powered uh, combination. Soldering iron, heat gun, and mini blowtorch. So uh, let's, well, let's try the soldering iron function first here. And see, here's the lock, and here's a, here's a safety. So, so push, push this in, then it'll, this will go down. And I don't know if you can hear it, but um, did it ignite? I don't think it ignited. Hold on. Oh, almost forgot to mention it does have a, an adjustment. To, I think I just had it at four the whole time. It says you're supposed to have it in the middle. It says between one and four. Wasn't everything between one? Mm. Try this again here. Might have to do this off camera, sorry. Oh yeah, can you, can you see it uh, lighting there? Okay, give that a few moments to warm up and then uh, Whew. Smell even out here. Whoa. Hmm. And as you can see, it's, uh, yeah, it worked. Um, now I gotta let it cool down before I try another function. Actually, I should probably clean the tip here a bit. Huh? Whoop. Oh, right, it was hot a few moments ago, wasn't it? I might use some of this um, tip tinner and cleaner. Okay, you can just turn it off this way. You don't have to worry about uh, this. Ugh, just fire Kevin already, preferably with real fire. <gasps> hmm, I wonder if it's cooled down enough. Oh no! <laughs> ah. So, next we will try the heat gun function, so... Unscrew the soldering iron tip, and then... Is that glowing? Now it's definitely glowing now. So, here we got heat shrink tubing. That in place here. And there you go, it's shrunk, right? Okay, yeah, I put the soldering tip back in. I mean, where else am I gonna store it? It's like separately storing the ping pong ball from a Jedi mind trainer. Okay, so you unscrew this and you put this back on and uh, I don't know where I can... Oh wait, I know where. Yeah! Uh, why did I think my butt was a good place to store that? Oh, anyway, so, all right. Ah. Okay, there, can you see the flame? Um. Wait, I can prove there's a flame. Yeah, there we go, yep. Uh. Oh good, it was just a smoke bomb. I was afraid it might be a explosive. Yeah, I don't admire Harold Lloyd that much. Yeah, I think, no, I know that for any situation where I'll be near an electrical outlet, um, especially my own home, I'm going to stick with the electric soldering iron and the electric heat gun, and I really should turn this off here. Huh? When you turn it off, it goes into cool-down mode, so... Um, 
Main reason, because the butane has a very strong smell. And I mean, that was when I was doing it out here, even. I already experimented with it earlier here in my kitchen, and uh, as you can see, I'm airing the place out because that smell lingers, at least it does for me. And I, I'm sometimes still imagining I'm smelling this. That's not a good thing. Uh, that, incidentally, is why I'm gonna stick with my Herbo Blue Mini Blowtorch, because well, I did actually a little experimenting. I was able to smell this if I got my nose uncomfortably close to the flame, which is not something I'm gonna do here. I was smelling it all the time, and I think one problem might be that it's difficult to tell if it's lit. I mean, well, this thing, it's obvious. Um, this thing, um, pretty obvious too. You feel the heat, and also just the fact that you plugged it in means that it's going to be on. In fact, at one point I thought maybe the pilot light blew out, but uh, here's some experimentation. Yeah, finally, <laughs> when it was actually exposed, I, I will give it that. It's possible that one reason I was smelling this so much was because it wasn't ignited, but um, I, even when it definitely was, I could smell it. This, uh, maybe they just did a better job of it, or maybe if you're trying to make something do three things instead of just one, it uh, doesn't always work, especially if you're trying to keep the unit price under $20. So I might bring this out for field work. In fact, I probably will this weekend. But uh, yeah, not in the house. Hey, Miss Radio Shack. 